If you're not trading in metals, buying metals, cutting metals, fabricating metals, you can trade in machines, raw materials, boats, nuts, used water tanks, water heaters, and anything required in this community. Another set of metals have just arrived to the market. Immediately, it is received on arrival by interested buyers or users who want to quickly cash in for the best bargains. The market is a very huge market. Which in the sense that people working here should be approximately half a million people in this market. But you have a big challenge here. There's no public water. They used still use uh, well water to cook and drink. Who has health challenges? And not only that, early in the morning, some boys do bomb whose chunk of tires polluting the environment. Those are the two major challenges we have in this uh, water nearing. We do pay our taxes, like I said, and uh we want to get more of the dividend of democracy as well to our market. Like I will tell you, in this market, you won't believe we have only one ball. Yes, and uh, with the population of people here, yeah, if we should have like 10, it's not too much. So we are appealing to the government to help us with that. You know, we want more balls in this market. At least it will serve our people. You can't expect 11 lines like uh, somebody told you. Like we have here, and uh, only one line has uh, what we call the ball stuff. The line, other lines will now come to the middle line to fetch water. You know, that's a bit stressful. So once there is provision for more balls, I think uh, it will be very easy for people to get uh, 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 access to water when they need it. Not that you go far away. As fabricators who hold their own, the craftsmen at Owode have developed a mechanized drilling method which relegates manual drilling. So that apart from the generator which propels the pipes, every other material has been locally fabricated. This piece of iron is drilled to shape for a local pepper blender using the industrial machine known as the late machine. For those into building and construction, this segment of the hub is where you cut to size and bend them over to form a square shape used in holding together rods used for constructing pillars. If junks make you quill, then this is not the kind of environment you want to be. For instance, this shop is just an example of a junkyard of scraps of shafts from cars, propellers, rings, shock absorbers, and numerous iron bars. The finished products from cutting them is chisel and handles for hammer of various sizes. Waste in a weather community is great source of wealth and of great value. For them, Old items are better, stronger, and more durable, which explains why they prefer to deal in old items rather than new ones. We beg government to take care of us more than how we are, because we have worthiness of what this thing, if it's any city. So if you look at our road, so we need a good, good gutter. We, have, we need a poor hole for this market. After that, there is nothing difficult for us, for God, for us. So, and in the way to look us, there is no market by this time. We are just managing it. For over three decades, the Owodo Oniri scrap metal community have weathered the storm, standing in the gap for the Komatos Iron Ore Companies. The creativity they have deployed in constructing from scraps, aside buying and selling waste, 
puts them on the scale of a potential cluster of economic contributor with largely SME and MSME members. Experts estimate that Nigeria's national steel consumption rate is put at over 2 million metric tons. There's clearly a need area in all of this narrative which suggests that hubs like this be looked at a little more differently, at least the employment potentials and the realities are quite measurable. Send your comments to us using the handles on your screen. We look forward to have an expanded conversation on this. It's a pleasure having you this week. Bye for now.